What is up YouTube, Stephen Harvey here, back with another long-awaited portfolio update on my Sharesies investing portfolio. It's been a little while, I've been sick over the last couple of weeks, so it's been really, really tough to try and get a video recorded. Um, so I haven't uploaded in a while besides the video I uploaded just the other day, um, which was actually an old recording that I finally got around to editing and uploading. So if you haven't checked that out, go ahead. It is actually part of my Sharesies portfolio, or not portfolio, my Sharesies investing series. So it just teaches you um, all the way from signing up to Sharesies to automating your investing and getting started. Now before we dive into checking out my portfolio, if you haven't already guys, go hit that subscribe button below, okay? Because the majority of you guys watching these videos haven't actually subscribed to my YouTube channel. There's only about 20 to 30% of you who have subscribed, where the rest of you haven't. So hit that subscribe button, and if you do enjoy the video, don't forget to smash the like button right next to it. But of course, what you're here for is to see the money. So let's go have a look at my portfolio and we can see here I just crossed over the $7,000 mark. So we're sitting at $7,148.09. Now we can have a look here. If I click on that little arrow there, it's going to take us into my total returns. So this is actually the most that I've ever seen um, and probably the highest percentage that I've seen for a while. And we're sitting at $287 up. Um, and that's 4%. So that is really, really great returns right now around this Christmas period. Um, some say that we could be looking at a little bit of a bubble around this Christmas period. Um, we don't know. We'll see. I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing um, because everything in the future is going to be fine. Now, if you already seen my last portfolio update, you will see that there's actually a big change in this number. So it has been uh, roughly two contributions that I've chucked into here. So totaling around about $1,600. Um, and I also got a big dividend payout for the month of December, which you're going to see shortly in this video. So just make sure you stick around for that. However, if you do want to see what I have been investing in, we can actually see this easier just by clicking into my wallet. Um, so I got 14 cents there. So that was just from a dividend payment for, from Fisher and Paykel. Um, but if I scroll down, there is actually quite a bit, but I do know when to stop because right here we have these referral bonuses. So shout out to Luke, shout out to Edward, Seb, and uh, Jatin, thank you very much for using my link to sign up. Now, if you guys haven't signed up already, shameless plug here, but there is actually a link down in the description for you to do so. And if you do so and use that link, you're actually going to reward yourself with $10 as well as rewarding me with this $5 amount here. So you're supporting me as well as rewarding yourself with that amount. So that is only valid for a limited time. Um, I think it's only got maybe a month or so left on it. So make sure you get in quick. However, if you are watching this video and that promotion has expired, then uh, sorry about that. But if you do want to still support me, hit that link down below. Now, if I work my way up from these uh, referrals here, um, we can actually have a look at what I've been buying. So we can see, oh, and actually being paid out in dividends. So these were a lot of dividends that were paid out here, as we can see. And then if I go up a little further, these ones here have, are my orders. So um, I bought some Asia Pacific funds. So that was um, a first time buy for me. I also brought more of the Australian property fund, Australia top 20, emerging markets, uh, emerging markets responsible, the Europe fund, Fisher and Paykel I believe was another new buy for me, uh, global automation and robotics fund, global property fund, Heartlands group was another buy for me, uh, and then more into main freight, more into NZ property, more into NZ responsible, more into New Zealand top 50, more into the to uh, total world fund, more into US 500 and more into the US large growth fund. As you can see, all I've been doing is putting little chunks in. So when I do my $800 contribution, you can see I've only put $100 here, here, um, and then in other ones, $50, $20. So I kind of just scatter them out depending on what's more favorable for me. So now we're going to head over to my portfolio tracker. It just gives us a better look of this portfolio um, in terms of numbers. So if you haven't downloaded this tracker already, then you can do so by hitting the link in the description. There's a nice little link for it. Um, it's completely free and I give instructions. It's really simple to use, um, but have a look at it here. We can see I've sorted it out in terms of my funds. So these ones here are all my funds, uh, which you would have seen in the last portfolio video. And these are all my companies here. Um, and I've even made it real easy um, by keeping an up-to-date share price. So I've linked it with Google Finance. So that means once you've got it, this share price is actually um, all up-to-date and, and basically real-time. It's there's about a 20-minute delay in it, um, but it gives you that current price. So you don't have to manually change it every time. All you have to manually change are the number of shares that you own in case you buy any more. Um, and then the market value as well is actually just a calculation of 
the number of shares times by obviously the current price of the shares. Then we can also see the allocation tab here. So that gives us an idea of how much or like where we're putting our money. So uh, I have a big portion of the New Zealand top 50. So we can see down here we have the New Zealand top 50 makes up almost 20% of my portfolio. So it gives us a really um, good look at uh, where the money is and maybe where we should kind of lay off on some because obviously we don't want to put too much money into one fund or too much money into one company. We want to diversify it as much as possible and divvy our money up. But then at the very bottom here, we can click onto this dividend tracker tab. Um, this actually gives me a, a better look or a total look of the dividends that have been paid out over this uh, 2019 year. So we can see here my total, um, I've made $61.32 in dividends paid out to me um, all the way since April. So I have been investing since April. Um, I got a payout in June, but my biggest payout was here in December, um, which totaled $52. So um, roughly like 80 to 90% of my dividend payments came in December. But that's because I've been really ramping up my contributions since I got back from Bali, which is in uh, that was in November. So since I got back, I've been putting in a lot more money, buying a lot more shares, which means I've been getting higher dividend payouts. And that is all for this video, guys. I do hope you enjoyed it, and I do hope you got to see everything I invested in over the last month. Um, I am going to make these updates probably fortnightly uh, when I upload them. It's only because I was sick over the last month, so um, it has been really hard to actually get an update video out. But this is the update video. We can see we're 4% up, which is amazing. $285, we're getting our dividends, we're diving into 2020. Now if you don't quite have any 2020 New Year's resolutions, then make shares is one of them. It's super simple. If you haven't signed up already, then use that link below. If you have signed up already, then keep at it, stay consistent, keep your head up. Don't, don't worry too much about it fluctuating, don't get emotional. Just enjoy the ride and make sure you smash that like button. If you have any questions, then hit the comments below. I'll make sure I get back to you. That is all for me today and we'll see you guys in the next one.